What's going on guys, DC Reviews here, and today I'm here with another Marvel Legends figure review. And as you guys can see, today I'm review I'm reviewing the Marvel Legends Deadpool. He is one of my favorite figures that I have. Can't say he's my favorite. I think my favorite is um one of my is Superior Spider Man that I haven't reviewed yet. That I haven't reviewed yet, but I'm going to. But He's one of my top five favorites that I have as of right now. This figure comes with a lot of accessories for, well, I guess you really can't say 20 bucks because you can't find him for a good price unless you find him in a store. Online, he's 50, 30, 40 bucks. But, this figure is a very nice figure, so let's go ahead and take a look at the accessories then. So, Deadpool comes with nine accessories. We'll go ahead and start out the left. He comes with a gun, two swords, two pistols, a rocket launcher, interchangeable head, which looks very nice. If it'll focus. If it'll focus. There we go. Let's see. And it also comes with a taco. So, that's cool, too. And there's the other gun. So, quite a bit of accessories for one figure. And no, it does not come with a Build-A-Figure piece because he's because there's always one figure in a way that does not come with a piece for the Build-A-Figure. So, speaking of figures, why don't I take a look at Deadpool. So, Deadpool stands just about six and a half inches tall, which makes him just about... 16 and a half, 17 centimeters. So, pretty nice. And they are reusing the Bucky Cap body, if I'm not mistaken. Um, oh, and he also comes with a knife. So that's 10 accessories. I forgot to take that out of his boot right there. Uh, but the paint work is very nice on this figure, as we can see from the head. The sculpt is very nice. Just, I mean, it, it's really not hard to just do black and red. But the belt, as you can see, there's some silver marks, silver lines on him. The belt looks nice. The logo looks pretty good. There's two grenades right there. And this is a separate piece. You can take it off. I would take that off. You take off, like, the arms. Take this off. You take off the legs. And this is also separate, too. So, this is one gun holder for the pistols. Here's another gun holder. And here's where you hold the swords, which... Go ahead and show you guys. There's one sword. There is another sword. Sorry about that. My brother's building a Lego set. There's where you hold one gun, and then if you get the other gun, uh, this is where you build, I mean, build. Great, now he's gotten me confused, this is where you put the other gun at. So, that's where everything goes. And in terms of articulation, the head can look that far up pretty good. And the head can look that far down. Pretty good as well. No uh, head wobble right there. Uh, but it can't go side to side. Let me see. The arm can go that far out. Has a bicep swivel. Double jointed elbows. And the arm, I mean the hands, are on a ball peg and a swivel. And they can't really go back that far. This is limiting it a little bit. But it is soft plastic. It looks like. Somewhat soft. Ab crunch. You can go that far forward. And that far back. Even without. That's about how far it's going to get. Even without the swords. Because you can move them out the way. So. No limitation right there. Just not that far back. Get a swivel uh, right there on the leg. Sorry, I'm a little far. Double jointed knees work nicely. 
we do get a, a rotation right there, which doesn't look bad, but nothing I'm going to use. And the, we can go that far down, that far forward, and we get ankle, an ankle rocker or an ankle pivot. So, all in all, a very good figure. Do recommend getting him. Um, I would go look at like this, but and look at the detail of it. But it's just green with a little punching fist right there. So there's really not much. The head, which we already looked at, the taco. Just has some green on the top. The other guns. Guys, you know, the sculpt. But I mainly like to look at the stuff that has good paint work on it. Like these. The handles have some red paint dots. As you see. If about that, guys. I uh, ran out of bat ran out of storage on my camera. But I uh Got some more storage on it. But, I forgot what I was talking about. Uh, I think I was just showing you guys a bunch of stuff of the figure. But anyways guys, hope you guys did enjoy this review. Um, this, is, this is quick. Uh, just wanted to get this review out for you guys quickly. Uh, so that you guys have something to watch. Because I kind of missed last week. Uploaded only two videos. And uh... This week I want to upload a, at least once a, once every day, or maybe twice if I have extra videos. But anyways guys, hope you guys did enjoy the video, and if you did, be sure to let me know by slamming that like button down below. And subscribe if you're new to my channel for more videos just like this one. And I always forget, click right here if you want to subscribe, if you are new. Click right here if you missed my last video. And click right here to watch... My last Marvel Legends review, which is probably the Black Panther or the Scarlet Spider-Man. I don't remember. I don't know which one's going to come out first, either Black Panther or Deadpool. But anyways, guys, talk to you guys later. Have a wonderful rest of your day, evening, night, whenever you're watching this video. And I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.